And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. It's a stormy Tuesday morning across parts of eastern Idaho. Getting a look across Idaho Falls right now at the I-15 webcam. A stormy sky looks like a thunderstorm is moving through. Storm tracker radar is showing that thunderstorm currently moving through Idaho Falls. That round is moving east. We could see more of that moisture. Notice in the Arco Desert, some more thunderstorms forming. Those could also move across Idaho Falls northward for this morning. And some of these storms will actually move across the western half of Wyoming as well. But it looks like for the lower half of the Snake River Plain, we are dry, so once we get past this round of moisture for the morning, at least the Snake River Plain will stay dry throughout the early half of the afternoon with some more showers and storms potentially developing from about Idaho Falls northward later on this afternoon. Also, we could see more for the Central Mountains and the Highlands in western Wyoming. Temperatures out there right now slightly above where they should be for this time of year, at least across the lower half of the Snake River Plain. We're currently in those 50s. It's 55 degrees right now in Blackfoot, 54 in Pocatello and American Falls, slightly cooler in the higher elevations, 43 in Soda Springs, 36 in Afton. It's currently 39 degrees in Jackson. Winds generally light out there as well, seeing winds generally calm in Idaho Falls to five miles per hour in Pocatello. And I think throughout the day today, for the lower half of the Snake River Plain, it will be less breezy out there. Winds between about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But for the upper half of the Snake River Plain, I think it will still be similar as yesterday with about 15 to 25 mile per hour wind speeds in to the afternoon. Most notably today, temperatures warm up. Look at that. We're in the 80s for the next couple of days. So temperatures return to right around average across Pocatello. So we'll see temperatures at least in those lower 80s today and we'll be in those mid 80s for about tomorrow and Thursday. We're under a southwesterly flow of air for today and that area of low pressure off the coast is driving some unsettled weather across parts of eastern Idaho for this morning indicated by those showers and storms. But the southwesterly flow of air will actually actually help drive those temperatures up into the 80s for today. And again, we could see some more showers and storms develop later on this afternoon across parts of the Central Mountains, also the Highlands, Western Wyoming, and from about Idaho Falls northward towards St. Anthony. But for the lower half of the Snake River Plain, will be dry throughout the afternoon. So if you have any outdoor plans for today, it'll be a good day for that. It'll be 84 degrees today in Pocatello, 84 also in American Falls, 80 degrees today in Idaho Falls, slightly cooler across the higher elevation, seeing temperatures this afternoon reach those 70s. Tumming out any moisture throughout the rest of the day, 11 o'clock this morning, still seeing some showers lingering across the central mountains, even by about the early half of the afternoon, around 1 o'clock. Salmon, lead ore getting in on some more showers and even a thunderstorm. Some of those storms for your area could be severe as we move throughout the day. Notice the shades of orange, shades of yellow indicating heavier downpours. Into the early evening hours, we do see some clouds linger. We we could see another shower pop up across the central mountains later on tonight, but then for the overnight conditions generally dry out across all areas and we'll be left with a partly cloudy sky tonight with those low temperatures in those 40s and the 50s. It'll be 49 degrees tonight in Idaho Falls, 50 tonight in Rexburg, it'll be 53 degrees tonight in Pocatello. Your southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast leaves us partly sunny for the next few days. Those 80s stick around and then for about the Friday time frame, We'll see some clouds build in, temperatures drop out briefly, and then for the weekend, looks like we'll be in those mid to even upper 80s potentially by Sunday. Idaho Falls, your seven-day forecast, partly sunny for today and tomorrow, and then we'll also see temperatures drop out into the 70s for two days before those 80s return for about Saturday and Sunday. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, chance of showers and storms today and tomorrow, partly sunny skies. For Thursday and Friday, temperatures pretty consistent in the 70s and across the central mountains, Salmon Chalice and Mackey. Expect a chance for showers and storms for today, partly sunny skies for Wednesday and Thursday.